Hi there. Welcome to this series of lectures on business statistics. Now, if you're like I was when I was a student, you're wondering, why? Why do I need to learn business statistics? Um, is this really a useful skill? Do business people use this? Yeah, yeah, they do all the time. Um, and uh, I, in fact, I can't think of a single facet of business that isn't um, informed by statistics in one way or another. So um, I'd like to try to convince you of that right now. Um, basically, no matter what field you're in, you're going to be using statistics. Um, I think if you're in management, you want to keep track of your sales. That's a statistic. Um, you might want to keep um, a dashboard of key performance indicators for your company. Maybe um, you'd like to track uh, all of your sales uh, representatives and see how they're doing over time. That's statistics. It's having a whole bunch of data and making sense out of it. If you're in marketing, absolutely everything that you do is data driven. Uh, they say now that um, the oil of today is data, right? The, the, the business today lives and breathes and is run on data. The biggest companies in the world right now, uh, Google and, and Facebook and all the social media companies, all they're doing really is collecting and selling your data. Um, but they're selling it to every business out there that's trying to market their own products. They want to know whether you as a customer is likely to purchase your product, the product or not. So um, they collect a whole bunch of data on your preferences and your likes and what you're browsing on to try to figure out if you're um, a high potential customer or not. So they're, they're tracking your data. If you're uh, an econ major or in social sciences, you also live and breathe by data. You'd like to know, for example, how the economy is doing. Is it going up or down? Um, they'll take a sample of, uh, of people and, and ask them what their incomes are to see if wages are going up or down. You might uh, compare wages for men and women, um, looking at the correlation between two different variables like that. You're always using data. Uh, accountants. Even accountants use data. Um, if you're going to run an audit for a company, you're not going to look at every single transaction that's on the books for that company. Um, but you will look at a small subset. You'll take a sample and you'll look at them and you'll see whether uh, there seem to be any shenanigans in that sample. And if a large proportion of those entries have something kind of fishy to them, then then that really draws into question the accuracy of the entire set of books and it kind of triggers a larger audit. Um, so accountants use stats all the time. And, uh, and finance. Finance is driven by algorithmic trading these days, which is fancy for having computers do your trading and the computers also run on data. Um, but even if you're not going to be doing that, you just want to pick a stock, you're going to look at that stock's performance over time. That's data. You want to see whether it's trending upwards or downwards. You'd like to know how variable um, the stock price is. How does it uh, correlate with other things that are in your portfolio? Um, is the price of the stock uh, way high relative to its earnings, which might indicate that it is um, uh, maybe not a good investment because it's overpriced right now and that it might go down. All these things are different ways that business people uh, use statistics in their daily life. And so I think it's going to pay off a whole bunch um, for you to learn uh, how some of this uh, statistics work, at least the general principles of that. So I think uh, you're going to learn a lot.